if you have just installed your favorite Nubara and getting this message saying that we've detected this is a new Nubara installation. Before moving on, it is required that you perform a system update. Would you like to do this now? You should do that for sure. Hello guys, welcome to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to quickly update Nobara step by step so it will be done correctly and simply. So let's go ahead and do that. Actually, Nobara makes it super easy to update your system because it actually mentions you that you got to do the update before you proceed. So you simply need to check yes. And also over here at the bottom right corner, it shows you how many updates are available. So you might as well open this open Nobara package manager if you want to do it through that package manager, if you want to click here. But since we already have this message pop up, simply click yes. And it should ask you for the authentication password. So just type in your user password that you have set up during the installation and press OK. And it's going to open up a system update window where you can perform a system updates. As you can see right now, it's checking repositories. Very soon, it's going to show you some results. We just got to wait. OK, there we go. So it's still performing tasks. There are hundreds of updates and we get in the message. We have found some missing optional video and audio codec packages. Do you want to install them now? It is recommended. Why not? Codecs are very handy to have because you need them to run audio and video. So we'll just say yes and it will start installing them as well. Anyway, meanwhile, check out how many system updates there are. Like, I think there are like hundreds of updates. Whew, yeah. So yeah, you need some good stable internet connection and patience because it will be taking some time. I'm not even going to record this whole process because every single package needs to be updated. And yeah, so it's going to take a quite a bit of time. But the good thing about Nobara, it does everything automatically. So you don't need to tinker with all these files, with all the commands. It's just super simple. All right, awesome. So we almost done. It says finish problem checking and repair. No fix up available. Updates available. So after it has checked all the repositories, now we can just click install updates and it will start installing them. So this might take also quite a bit of time. So just be patient and wait until it's done. Check how quickly it goes. I'm already at 240s and there are 993 updates. That's huge. That's like almost a thousand updates. So yeah, as you can see, it downloads this little kilobyte file. Some of them like a few megabytes, but they're not that large. But it's updating all these various packages. Actually, it goes super quick. As, as you can see, it doesn't even take one second to update a single package, probably like half a second or maybe one third of a second. As you can see, it goes super quick. I tell you, updates in Nobara are super easy. I'm sure most of you guys will like it. So the total is 3.3 gigabyte, which is quite a lot. It only took a little bit more than two and a half minutes, which is not very long. It's still running transactions, so just wait until it's completely finished. Okay, perfect. Successfully updated packages, kernel or kernel modded update were performed. So it's still running. As you can see, when it says performing tasks, please wait. And now it says system reboot is required. So we need to reboot the system to complete this update installation. Simply click yes. And it will automatically reboot the system. Well, this is it. I hope you guys find this short video helpful. If you like it, please support with a like. If you're first time to the channel, please take a second to click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. If you're going to run into any issues with Nobara, let me know in the comment section below. I'll try to help you if I can. And let me know why did you choose Nobara as your next Linux distro. That will be very interesting to know. Also, if you would like to support my channel, you can use Super Thanks or simply buy me a coffee. The links are in the description. But this is it for today. I hope you have a nice day. I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.